right, today we're making a marinade for a smoked turkey. We put in a couple tablespoons of Celtic sea salt from France. The water, we got about four cups of distilled water. We're just going to keep moving right along here. Here's the turkey we're using. We're using this Genio that we got on sale. Can you even see it? Down a little more. Down a little there more. There you go. Yeah, we got that for about eight bucks every Thanksgiving. We get them on sale. Everybody has them in their hometown. I'm going to marinate it. I'm going to cut all the fat off in the skin. That's where most of your gunk is going to hide. Your, I mean, it's got the stuff they put in a turkey anyways but they inject it into the skin to make it way more uh, anything any toxins usually gather in fat cells anyway so and I'm the just, skin and the skin so we're just getting rid of the skin and the fat it, you know you'll you can live without it that's because we're almost healthy we're almost healthy we're not eating organic turkey that was range fed and taught to sing kumbaya under crystals but what the heck you know, a funny thing is, I told my dad, he said, what are you doing at this weekend? I said, well, I'm smoking a turkey. Well, he said, well, gosh, ain't you going to need a pretty big pipe? <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Family joke. Anyways. Has to do with something about Fred's roots. Yeah. Uh, an incident in my teen hood. Anyways, here's a teaspoon of my secret weapon, cinnamon. And this is a smoke marinade we're making here. I got this. was boiling. It doesn't have to be boiling while you're making it. You just want to get the water hot. So everything dissolves and, you know, it melts together. You can do it in cold water if you don't have time to cook it, but I think this is better. Now we have liquid smoke. This is the brand I use just because this is the brand they sell around here and I've been using it. It's pretty good. And what kind of smoke is that? Isn't there kind of a couple of flavors? There's two flavors. There's hickory and mesquite. When I'm doing bird or fish, poultry or fish, I like mesquite. That's my flavor. When I'm doing beef and pork, hickory. Sometimes pork, mesquite, I'm not sure, but bird, always mesquite. And he knows what he's talking about, folks. Uh, yeah, it's just the best. Anyways, we're going to go one tablespoon two tablespoons, three, and four. Now don't get nervous because this is such a small pan. This is the hot water. We're going to dilute this a lot and pour it into the container as you're going to see in a minute. And I'm just going to finish it up. What there you go. Make it party. We'll get the last of it. So anyways, let me speed this up a bit. Got some garlic powder here. And just gonna be up. Well, give me that. Single biggest reason why I got the new measuring spoon. It fit better in the jar. Okay. This new fangle thing here. That's one teaspoon. That's one teaspoon or tablespoon? That's one teaspoon. Teaspoon. Okay, well, let's go with two teaspoons here. Of what's that? You're putting That's in. garlic powder. Hang on. Kind of heapity, but it's garlic powder, not garlic salt, everybody. We did the salt separate. We're going to shoot in there one more onion. Whoa. Damn. Onion makes it a little sweeter than the garlic does. But it's not as bold as the garlic. So we got the onion. Now chili powder. And again we have the warehouse chili powder. <laughs> I, <laughs> woo, we got some vintage. October 2008 here. Ought to be pretty peppy. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not like it expires. It doesn't yeah. get rotten. No peppers were injured in the making of this film. That looked like too much to me. Well, we'll find it's out. Good thing we're not drinking it. Now, paprika isn't so tough as the chili powder. Chili powder can take things over. 
And you know what's missing is my cumin. That's what I was looking for, and I don't know what she did with it. She likes to hide things from me. And then say That's she, why I can reach right up into the cabinet and oh, get it she for put you. It in a glass jar. It was not in my old trusty eight-year-old plastic container. That's because that's new cumin. New. Oh, this is from the health food. Woo! See, your health food stuff is way fresher. So I'm only going to use about a half of this. That cumin can be pretty bold. Let's just slap that in there. Use your whisk. Give it a good whisk in. And I think that's all for now. We'll set up next and show you how to prepare the turkey. Perfect. And we're